Hey, good morning, beloved, and happy Friday, and congratulations. You're almost to the weekend, and may God bless you with a safe, healthy, restful, refreshing, and enjoyable weekend, especially on the Lord's Day as you worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And we've been talking about spiritual warfare this week and how the uh, uh, obedience of faith, your first act of obedience, you declare war and it begins. And the weapons that we have are not of, of the flesh, they are spiritual, the spiritual character of Christ that uh, we have when his life is your life that, uh, the, the, and develops through uh, training. The, the character develops and uh, and so uh, when we say develops, we're talking about spiritual disciplines. <laughs> Every soldier knows you, you're not given a weapon until you go through training, a lot of training. And that training never ends. It's ongoing uh, all the time, especially in uh, combat zones. You don't stop training. And for the believer, it's even more so. And when we talk about training for the believer, we're talking about spiritual disciplines that develop that character, which is our weapon. So the spiritual disciplines of Bible study and meditation and prayer, personal uh, 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 disciplines of fasting, secret uh, ministry and service, as well as corporate disciplines of worship and small group Bible study and ministry alongside of others. And so uh, as you identify those disciplines and you engage in them ongoing all the time. Character is developed from those, uh, from that training. A friend of mine, a veteran of the Iraqi war has this expression, drillers make killers. And it was instilled into him, drillers make killers. And our enemy of the world, the flesh and the devil, we're out to destroy pride and pride is so deceptive, always present, always uh, deceptive, hidden many times. But those drills, uh, drillers make killers, and those drills will expose pride so that it can be killed. Listen, beloved, pride uh, will not be rehabilitated with Bible studies and, and, and conferences and education. Pride has only one uh, outcome and that for a believer, and that's death the cross. And so let's remember drillers make killers and let's engage in those spiritual disciplines to develop a godly character, the character of Christ for that light to shine and expose what needs to be crucified today, taken to the cross. And, uh, and also remember this beloved, we don't fight for victory we fight from victory. The war is still on, but the war has been won by our Savior and our King, Jesus Christ, blessed be His name. And so may God give you that victory today, the victory that is in Jesus Christ. Amen and hallelujah.